In this video, I'm going to invest 1000 euros in the stock market and I'm going to show you the approach that I use to do that. I'm also going to categorize the investment strategies into two different categories so that you can understand what kind of categorization you want to follow. One thing that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about investing is that investing is different than trading. You see some YouTube videos here and there where they say like they have made like 3x returns on their money in like, you know, 10 days, 20 days whatsoever. But the thing that you have to keep in mind is that very few people are able to do that. According to statistics, only 0.03% of the people are actually able to make money by trading on the stock market. The other almost 76% of the people, they lose money every single time and the rest of the people, they break even. So you have to keep this in mind and think about investing in the stock market in a long-term perspective that is over like you know five to ten years if you want to take the money out in like you know one year two year three years or something i wouldn't really recommend it like i think it makes more sense when you're thinking about these things long term even if you're investing as a student like you can invest smaller amounts and then most of the students anyways end up staying in germany afterwards then you can keep on adding to your portfolio afterwards once you get a full-time employment but i think starting with just a simple amount as 25 euros per month is really not a bad idea now let's go to the categorizations which i keep in mind when i'm thinking about investing the money categorization one on the basis of risks so for example if you're using a very conservative approach you're a complete beginner you don't know how the stock market works the one thing that i recommend is that you invest in something like msci world so here for example if you see my portfolio is right now at around 126,000 euros um, msci world is a fund which is covering almost 1600 companies across 23 developed nations that means when you invest the money inside this one single stock is buying you 1600 different companies a small percentage of each of those stocks which is very nice i really like it as a beginner i was just investing with this and when i started out the price of msci world was uh, pretty low because i started investing in january 20 so of course it was like 56 euros after that the corona crash happened but you see that the stock price recovered like you know pretty nicely so again i'm sitting at a profit and this is like you know pretty nice now the type two of this categorization could be moderate risk that means you're investing 50 percent of the money in etfs and you're investing the rest of the 50 percent in stocks so these could be different kind of stocks even paying stocks growth stocks and so on this is something that we are going to discuss later huh? but you can choose one of those for example the stocks that i have is enphase um, main street capital neo palenti technologies sl green realty and tesla so again you can choose these now the third type of this categorization is going to be the high risk approach that means you're investing 50 percent in etfs 30 percent in stocks and 20 percent in cryptocurrency so again uh, if you take a look at my cryptocurrency portfolio it is actually um, sitting around 25,000 euros and this is also because some of the dips happened just last week the second categorization of investing in the stock market is deciding if you want to go towards cash flow approaches or you want to go towards a growth approach that means you want to invest in growth companies like tesla which are not having a lot of profits right now but their earning potentials are very high for the future that means the stock price generally rises pretty high then you have the cash flow companies which are going to pay you out dividends on the basis of the money that you have invested inside them every single month or every single quarter yes there are also companies which you can invest in which are going to pay you the dividends monthly now one of the companies here is main street capital i've been investing inside this like since almost a year and it is still giving decent returns and then afterwards i have sl green realty this is something i've also been investing inside since a year more and it also has decent capital gains returns but not just that what you have to keep in mind is that in the transactions you can see sl green realty is paying me 57 euros and six cents every single month and main street capital is giving me 42 euros and 82 cents now this is the money that i've just received on 16th july and i receive it every single month without any kind of delay without any kind of you know discrepancies whatsoever and this is very important for the companies too so that they can build trust in the investors if the money is coming out at the right time then of course there are no unsureties and things like that which builds up the investor confidence so this is very nice in the middle of the month i wake up in the morning and like i have some money lying around in my bank account which is 100 euros almost 100 euros so if you calculate this again you have 57 euros and 6 cents 42 euros and 82 cents which is around 
99 euros and 88 cents so exactly 99 euros and 88 cents which is almost 100 euros so this is the money which again comes to my account into my current account and use it the taxes have already been deducted or I can just invest it back inside the stock market. So you have the complete control over this, which is of course very nice. When you're thinking about the growth stocks, the only time you can make money from the growth stocks is when you're selling them. And like, this is not so nice because once you sell them, then you lose the potential of the growth stocks going even further, which is again, like, you know, not so nice. I like to have companies which are paying me every single month. And this is also one of the reasons why I have invested in companies which are paying me dividends monthly and not companies which are paying me quarterly. That's another thing that you have to keep in mind. An ideal strategy here could be that you invest money in growth stocks, you let it become big, and then you invest it inside the dividend company so that the cash flow is regular. Now, it sounds great in theory, but you never really know how the stock prices develop. That's why I like to diversify it from the very starting already. That's why I have some money lying around in the growth companies and some money lying around in the cash flow companies. Now I'm going to invest 1000 euros, like I promised you in the starting of this video, in the stock market. And I'm going to choose the moderate approach. Many of you who are starting, I think it would make more sense if you're going towards MSCI world or something. Of course, none of this is financial advice Do your own research, but this is essentially what I did when I was starting out as a beginner. And now I'm going to choose the moderate approach where I'm going to put inside 500 euros in the MSCI world fund and 500 euros in a stock that you're going to see real quick. Investing in the stock market with MSCI World is actually pretty simple. So if I have here MSCI World, I can just simply click on Kaufen, then put inside 500 euros and order for Bereiten. Then you can give these limits. So the first one is the limit order. This is essentially the maximum price that you're supposed to pay for every single stock. Let's say it's 71 euros right now. What if it's all of a sudden 72 euros, then a lot of money will get deducted from my account. So essentially not 14 euros here, not so dramatic. And the second uh, thing that you see here is the stop order. So stop order is the limit at which the order gets activated. That means if it's 71 euros right now, you say, no, I don't want to buy it at this price. I want to buy it at 70 euros. Then you can give the stop order. So that's pretty simple. Then you click on Kaufen and that's pretty much it. Your order has been completed. Sometimes you see this like time sign there. So this means like it's in process. Most of the times it will happen instantaneously. Now, the second company that I'm going to invest inside is going to be SL Green Realty. So you see the notification that it has been done. That's good. Yes. So the second company that I'm going to invest inside is SL Green Realty. Here, I can also just simply go Kaufen. Then afterwards, I can put 500 euros. And now for the purpose of this video, again, I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to simply go ahead and put Kaufen. That's it. It's done. And the order has been completed. And even if you start with the free broker, you can choose prime broker option anytime you want, which is just 35 euros and 88 cents. Free broker is always free. There is no like opening cost, no running cost whatsoever. Just in transactions, you have to pay 99 cents. But if you choose prime broker, you don't have to pay anything at all, no matter what kind of transactions you make, how many transactions you make in a day, in a year, doesn't matter at all. So that's pretty much it from my side. You have to keep in mind that when you're thinking about investing, the sooner you start, the better it is. And also opening your account at Scalable Capital is completely for free. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure that you use our link given in the description to open your account in Scalable Capital. It is an affiliate link with which we get a small commission without any kind of additional cost to you. This way you help support our work. We have also written a detailed guide on our new website, financegermany.com. You can find the link for that also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the last episode of Personal Finance for Expats in Germany tomorrow. So subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and whatever questions you have, write it in the comments so that we can answer to them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.